Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Ratchet & Clank on the PS4. Enjoy the video! Ratchet & Clank on the PS4 is amazing, but some presentation choices made the game lose to some fans. First off the title, it's just Ratchet & Clank, which makes it sound like a reboot, but it isn't a reboot, even if it covers the same story. In the game, Captain Quark tells the story of how he landed in prison. The story in the game is actually the original story, told from Captain Quirk's perspective. That's why Ratchet lacks personality. This is one of the main complaints fans had with the game. Ratchet's personality. Ratchet is usually, let's say, street smart. He has some well-written lines. And he's tough and smart. But in this game, from the awesome character he's been in the past iterations, here he's just a nice person and extremely obedient. One character says, we need to do this, and Ratchet answers with a variant of, yeah, we need to do what you said. It's true that Ratchet lacks personality, I agree. And it's annoying compared to the other games that Ratchet lost his personality. And the humor is mostly present at the beginning at and the end of the game. In the middle you get humor, but in my opinion it's not as strong. Also happily you can see a shift in Ratchet's personality when the story in the game isn't told by Captain Quark anymore. The story in the game is the same as in the movie. You even get a big part of the movie as video game cutscenes, which makes this game one of the greatest time games as it follows the plot from the movie while also blending in an awesome gameplay. Still, this doesn't mean that the game movie is the movie, but a big part of the cutscenes are the movie. Aside of the story, you get the classic Ratchet & Clank formula. The gadget focus type of combat is as good as ever, you get plenty of new gadgets, among my favorites is the Groovy Tron, a spinning disco ball that makes all enemies dance. Throughout the playthrough, you'll be constantly unlocking more and more weapons. Actually, there are so many gadgets in the game that you'll finish the game and still haven't used all of them enough. Each weapon can be upgraded. By using it, you make it more effective. And when you get to an update station, you can upgrade your weapons, unlock secondary effects for those weapons and buy new ones. Also present in the game, are the hoverboard races, which are as good as ever. You also get chases with Clank and puzzle sections with Clank. I like the puzzles. They are clever and force you to think. But don't worry, they are also easy to solve. Here you have to manipulate small robots to pass through doors. And you can even transform the robots. Aside of this, you also get some ship sections, which point out even more how great the game looks. And I want to emphasize this. Not only that the gameplay is a beast, but the visuals are too. It's amazing how great the game looks and how butter smooth it runs considering how much is happening on screen. Not even once has my game had any frame rate issues. Not even once. And there are some intense action packed moments in the game. It's easy to recommend the game. It's amazing. And in my opinion, it definitely stands in the line of all the great previous Ratchet & Clank iterations. Sure, the story isn't as good compared to the high stakes set by the other games. Just remember that this story is only inspired by the real one. The story in this game is told by Captain Quirk. And even if the story isn't that strong when you compare the game with the other games, the gameplay is just as strong and amazing as ever. I recommend the game. It's a must play if you have a PS4.